Had the famous backside after the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't actually feel it, which is a worrying thing. So uh, I just I got sent the I got sent the picture after. Uh, just thought it was a it was a good laugh. Um, so I did it in there, but good end to a, a good one. Is that? I don't know if that puts Wilfred indeed on or off the Christmas card list. <laughs> oh, I, it was just just a bit of banner. Uh, he probably didn't even realise, and I certainly didn't realise. But uh, I got sent the photo loads of times, and I just thought, I'll fling in at the end for a laugh. I'm glad no damage done. Um, <laughs> to the real stuff, to the important stuff. Then I just wonder how much that the summer sort of weighed heavy on on your shoulders after the Euros. Oh, it wasn't it wasn't great. Um, obviously, as a team, personally. Uh, a lot of expectation from previous success, uh, both individually with a national team and as a group. But you're more than happy to take the praise when it comes along. So in football, things don't always go your way uh, and you take the criticism in the chin, try and use it to inspire you to do better, to find out where we went wrong, how we can improve and also try and look forward, really, Um We've come a long way as a nation to qualify for these tournaments. Uh, we didn't want that to just be enough. We all know we could have done better in the summer, but now there's a there's a new batch of players coming in, uh, sort of a different feel to the squad, and uh, hopefully it'll re-energise uh, all of us individually and hopefully everyone in the country as well. If you are to get to a tournament again, can Scotland be braver, more attacking on that stage because that's probably the thing that was level with the team that maybe could have been a little bit more forward thinking I well, we've got a couple of years now to try and get to a World Cup uh, we've not achieved that in a long time this group's managed to achieve things and, and break and sort of break the pattern of not qualifying for tournaments so um, we've managed to achieve that we've obviously not built on that I think um, the supporters are just looking for something new to kind of get us going again. They were right behind the team. I think, obviously, uh, they still had a, a brilliant time in the summer, but it doesn't make us feel any better with the performances and the results. But Thursday, it's about us getting on the front foot, embracing being in the top division in the Nations League, which is a, a first for us. Um, we're going to be tested absolutely against some top teams and give us the best possible chance to... Uh, to be at that World Cup so um, as for the performances in major tournaments uh, we've got a lot of time to digest that a lot of time to look back reflect on what it went what went wrong what we can do better um, but hopefully in two years time um, we'll, we're talking about how we can do better at the, the World Cup and, and be in that next major tournament and unfortunately for us that's all we can do at the minute What did go wrong do you think Tom to, uh, with the performances um, specifically in mind in Germany? Uh, bad individual and team performances really I think when you're at the highest level and you don't perform to your best I think for us to qualify out that group uh, we pushed the eventual winners all the way in the group to, to finish top and barring a controversial decision for Scottish free kick we could have probably went on and won the group um, so it's about us like I said we've got time now uh, not time and in the sense of training time and uh, meeting times, but time now to, to build something new. It took us a while to, when the manager first came in, it took us a while to get going. Obviously, we had the night in Russia, um, which was, was was hugely damaging, but we bounced back from that to, to qualify for, for two tournaments. So the balance for us is we're not trying to brush away the summer, not at all. Um, when you... Um, when you create that expectation and you have some, some small success, um, everyone expects you to do better. Now, personally, uh, as a group, we had ambition and belief. Um, we need to embrace the criticism and um, now the expectation will be shifted to, right, let's, let's see what you've got now in the Nations League. We'll probably, probably have a lot more people to, to prove wrong, but I'm sure once we, we get back to, to showing what we can do and, and getting in, Getting in better, a better rhythm as a team. I think even before the the tournament, I think uh, because we qualified so early, uh, I think it probably went under the radar. Uh, we were we were playing pretty poorly then, so it's about us getting back into playing better, 
delivering performances and results which we, we know we're capable of. Do you think the, the, the hurt and the, the disappointment of the summer has now been part or, or do you think actually that that could in a funny way play a part in this tournament to kind of instill a, a bit more kind of um, you know we'll, we'll, we'll try and put the, the wrongs right kind of idea? I, well, I think um, you, you definitely don't part them I still think about getting relegated with St Mirren what I could have changed what, what you could do better uh, these things never leave you uh, everyone always says the highs um, the highs in football make the lows worth it but they're, they're lying uh, so it'll always be in the back of your head things you, you could have done differently both uh, together as a team and individually so we kind of change that now it's about looking forward um, trying to so basically it's unfair on the new players coming into the squad obviously Ben was in the squad before uh, the summer uh, he wasn't involved in that so why 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 does it need to be doom and gloom with him in the squad? We need to try and use that to, to make us better, but also um, try and bring a freshness and, and a little bit more positivity with the new guys coming into the squad. Obviously, Goldie being back, uh, John McCracken for, for Dundee trained this morning. There is new faces and uh, it's about trying to freshen things up and, and do something different and uh, all of us need to improve both uh, on and off the park. Does that feel like the, the right thing to do, to, to bring in some new faces? Not, not quite a fresh start, but it's, um, you know, it, it's it's a, a little bit of a kind of clear out, a little bit of a kind of a, a, a freshness, if you like. It has to be, I think, um, the group who went in the summer, uh, everyone's obviously in different individual circumstances, players were out of contract, uh, some players have moved at the last minute, some currently without a club. So some have been forced, some have probably been difficult conversations, um, but it is important to... Some of us are not getting any younger, myself, Robbo, Grant, Kenny, as players that have been involved for years, it's important to give those guys that are coming in the experiences that we've had uh, and hopefully the experiences we've given them over the past few years are better than the experiences I had coming into the squad um, where it was all pretty much doom and gloom about not qualifying and we managed to break that um, as a group so it's about building on that becoming regulars at these major tournaments and trying to get to a World Cup which we all want That immediate aftermath John how tough was that period for you personally? Aye it was tough I uh, just wanted to get get away it was after a long season um, just wanted to try and refresh but and you do dwell on it you don't really want to watch any of the other games uh, you think about what you could do better and what you could change but it's football um, it happens with your club it happens with the national team and it's just part of what you need to try and deal with um, but you you use it to try and motivate you to become better and there's certainly much room for that for us The media aftermath also rather wrongly the spotlight goes to the manager and his future and a lot of criticism goes his way. What was your view of that? The spotlight did come to Steve and sort of some of the outcry from some sections of the, the Tartan Army? Well, I didn't see it on purpose. I've got better at that. Um, you're aware of the, the criticism for all of us, I think. Um, when we qualified, I get praised, other players get praised, the manager get praised and, and we qualified together uh, and we all accepted that, so... Uh, us as players take as much responsibility as the manager and his coaching staff and we'll, we'll all have been hurting the same way so as much as I didn't see any of it um, we're, we're all big enough and uh, old enough to realise what would have been getting said and a lot of it probably deserved maybe uh, some people are a bit nicer but I don't know uh, we're all behind the, the manager and uh, he certainly seems hungry and, and ready to go again and hopefully we can do what um, no one's managed to do for for a long time and get to uh, get to another major tournament.